Howdy guys, welcome to the cave. I'm Mark, and you're watching Blue Street Customs. Hey guys, and welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna be working on the body. Now I'm hoping to have it done in this video, but the paint job I'm doing, it may not be, but I'm gonna do my best. Now, I've already started working on it, and let me go through what I've done and what I still need to do. So I've taken the Tamiya panel groove tool and I've started cutting out and deepening the grooves. You can see I still gotta clean out some of them. This tool does take a little bit of practice to use, but it's not too, too bad. So I've gone through the trunk, the doors, um, the cowl, and that's pretty much it. I probably won't do the uh, fuel door. We'll see. Now, something else I've also started doing is, as you see on this side, you can see that there is this trim along the bottom. Well, on this side, I've gotten rid of it. I wanted to smooth it out a little bit, but I would, didn't want to go too far. I kept all the, uh, the normal emblems on the vehicle. One on the hood is still there, but one thing I do want to do is get rid of these wipers. I want to shave them off. And of course, that's not going to be the easiest thing to do. Now, the reason I'm shaving them off is because I have photo etch ones that I want to use. Let me show you. I have these universal ones from Detail Master. Now these could be interesting on building them, but I'm gonna give it a try. Now hopefully they don't fail because they're not the cheapest to buy here in Canada, but if you don't try, you don't succeed. So you saw in the last video, I've got the interior done. Still gotta do some work on the engine, but that's gonna be a little later in final assembly. For now, I'm going to work on this, and I think you're really going to like what I'm going to do to this thing. Hopefully it works. Let me give you a sneak peek of part of what's going to happen. Now this is just a metal flake, and this is just a uh, cheap toy car body that I use for test painting and stuff. Now, this here is gloss black with metal flake on it. This here is silver base with metal flake on it. Now for what I'm going to do, I need the silver base with the metal flake. In this video, hopefully you'll see what I'm gonna end up doing. So if that doesn't get you excited, I'm not sure what planet you're living on, but just to make sure, Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you like at least this. And if you think other people would like to see what I'm doing here, share the video for me. Every little bit helps. Now, I've posted little sneak peeks of stuff like this on the Instagram. So if you go down in the description, you will find the links for my Instagram and my Facebook group. Go give them a follow and you'll see things before you see the video. So let's get to it. Hey, so I've gotten uh, this here sanded down. I was showing you that here a second ago. And I've got the mold line sanded down on this side. Now, unfortunately, what they did to make it nice and difficult is on this body line for the vehicle and in between the body line and the chrome molding, that's where the plastic mold line was so that hasn't been the easiest to deal with all the way along now got a little bit left in the corner i'm going to double check this side i got to do this side a little more i can actually still feel the uh the mold line and i've got a little bit that runs up each pillar here that i got to get rid of on both sides so I'm going to finish that up and then I'm going to just clean up little areas like right here and stuff all the way around. Make sure that's clean. Double check 
under the hood area, I see a little bit of flash right here, a little bit down in here. So I'm just going to double check everything, get it ready for the first layer of paint. And of course, if, so I don't forget, I also have to deal with these wiper things. So I'm not going to bore you with this. And I got to put on my extra big see you up close glasses here to try and see this body line and mold line so I don't screw nothing up in here. I also have to finish getting rid of this trim molding off the bottom and I can't do that with the camera in a way so I'm going to get, do that off camera and uh, I'll come back show you and then we'll get to painting it so I'll see you in a few minutes okay guys here's your update I'm not sure how many stages there are to this paint job but this is at least three stages done and I'm probably not even halfway done the paint job so let me show you here's the hood Pretty crazy, huh? Now, the first stage that I did was just a base silver. You can see the silver on the inner fender well right here. Now, the whole car was painted that way. Then from there, I masked up this stripe all the way across, right? Now that's going to be a different color and a different effect altogether. So once that was masked up, then I sprayed my heavy flake. And there's, it's hard to tell on camera, but oh, there you go. There's some blue sparkle in there. Just depends on how you look at it. So when I did the sparkle or the heavy flake, I masked off the engine bay and these center fender wells because I wanted them just to stay silver. They will get the candy color that's going to be on the side and the top and the hood. But I just didn't want that to have the heavy metal flake. So metal flake, there's at least three coats of metal flake on there. Then I've got four coats of clear coat on now there is still a texture, so I'm going to wet sand this. And even in real life, with this type of heavy metal flake on a real car, you have to do the exact same thing. Lots of clear, and then wet sand, and then most likely clear coat again. Then you can do your candy color. So the next stage is wet sanding. And once it's all wet sanded and smooth, hopefully mostly smooth. Then I can give it another clear coat, maybe two coats, see what the texture is like. And then from there, I can do the candy color. So once I've got this uh, wet sanded and maybe re clear coated again, I'll come back and I'll show you. Okay guys. Time for the magic color. Everything's been wet sanded. I've given it another coat of clear just to smooth it out again. I'm using clear red and a little bit of uh, lacquer thinner. i mix this 50-50.
So I'm going to clean out my gun. We're going to let this dry. I'm going to turn on my Easy Bake Oven here. Let it dry and cure. Then we can unmask the sides. Mask up the areas we don't want marbled with the other color. We can apply the marble. I'll show you that too. And then we can do our final clear coats. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, everybody. Here's the first look of this vehicle. And remember, it doesn't have the clear coat yet. And we're about to unmask the sides so we can start doing the marble effect. Now, isn't this thing just gorgeous? Look at the sparkle on that. Now, of course, once the clear coat gets on there, then I can wet sand it and that paint job will be just like glass. Now, you see how the candy front fenders? Still the same color, but just doesn't have the heavy metal flake. Now, this looks really textured. The trunk is actually quite textured, but down the sides here, it's actually not as textured as it looks on screen. It's actually quite smooth. But, again, a couple clear, clear coats, and that'll get straightened right out. Okay, so, <clears throat> let's uh, unmask this and uh, start getting it prepped up to do the marble effect along the side. I will have to do a little bit of cleanup. I see some tape residue and stuff and a little bit of bleeding here. But the back worked out nice and on the top. You know, a little bit of bleeding, but that's on the trim, so that's okay. Because we're going to be uh, doing some chrome work on, on the, uh, the trim piece. The back turned out okay. Again, a little bit of bleeding. I can fix that. Front's good. So let's peel off the other side, see how this side turned out. Looks like we had a bit of a mishap right here. You can see some glue residue, but something went on right here. So I'll get this stuff cleaned up and these edges cleaned up a little bit. And then we can uh, start applying the marble effect here. And with that there, we're going to use <clears throat> gunmetal lacquer. And uh, we're going to use some saran wrap or cellophane, whatever you want to call it. And I'll show you how to, uh, to do that marble effect. And once that's done, then we can clear coat the whole thing. Let her dry for a day or so and use the dehydrator or my Easy Bake Oven. And uh, then we can wet sand and polish. Man, the camera does not do this color any justice. But anyways, um, so if you want to hang on for a sec, I'll uh, get this stuff cleaned up and uh, we'll get to doing the marble. Okay, guys, so I've dealt with this blemish. I've cleaned off the chrome trim here, or what will be chrome trim. So I'm going to mask this off now, cover up the red, so that uh, I can respray this silver on both sides. I figured if I'm going to spray one, I may as well touch this side up too. And uh, this here, I'll just paint by hand. But, don't be me, I forgot to paint the firewall silver so that I can candy it. And the radiator support. So, I'm going to spray those as well when I spray the sides. And then I can uh, spray candy on them after. And also, I want to paint the valve covers with the candy. I think that'll look pretty good on there. 
If not, I'll paint them a different color. So I gotta paint them silver as well. So all I'm gonna use to mask up the car is just some uh, 10 mil uh, masking tape here. And uh, I'm just gonna run along the bottom and the top of each edge, cover up the, the, the two end, end pieces. And then from there, I can just use uh, bigger masking tape or a little bit of paper or something and cover up the rest of it so that uh, I don't get silver overspray where I don't want it. So when I've got that all taped up, I'll be back and I'll, uh, I'll show you what it looks like all taped up. I'll probably spray it off cam. Then I'll come back and uh, we'll do the uh, marble effect. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. Well, I've got this thing all masked up. I'm going to make sure that my tape is all laid down nice and tight. And then I'm going to go spray this thing with silver and uh, spray the extra parts. These ones here. And then uh, I won't show the spraying of candy and stuff like that because, well, you saw it with the rest of the car. So once I get uh, this sprayed with silver, then I'll come back and I will show you uh, me doing the marbling effect on it. Then we can strip it down and clear coat everything. So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, hey guys. Well, I've got it uh, sprayed out here. Now, before I uh, unmask it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some saran wrap, cellophane wrap, cling wrap, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to take the color that I want right and i'm gonna gently brush some on here like so just kind of covering the high edges and if you can see this here that's all we're going to do but we're going to do it on there i'm going to make this a little easier since i'm right-handed so i'm going to brush some on here now, I've never done this before on a model. So, hopefully this works and I don't have to try and repaint it all. I'm going to try this with my other hand. Because it feels very awkward trying to brush this on with my left hand. This is all we're going to do all the way down the side of the car. If you want, you can kind of get a new spot. It is a little bit messy, but the effect is pretty freaking cool. And this will definitely give your vehicle a unique look that probably not too many other people have. So just have fun with it. And if you do screw up, well, like I said, you can always just respray this side and be good with it. So that's what it's looking like. Now I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to do the other side. Now this lacquer paint dries pretty quick. But if you're not quite sure, make sure that you let it sit long enough before you start doing the other side. Now you don't want to twist it, you don't want to drag it, you just want to blot. Like basically just bounce up and down with it. And you're not trying to push too hard because you don't want to take all the paint off at once. You just want to leave little bits and pieces of it here and there. You're not trying to completely coat the plastic. You just want just enough that some will stay behind. Now this here will get a coat of candy over it. And of course, gloss. But before I do that, I'm going to clean my brush here. I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we've got that done, and that doesn't look too, too bad, eh? 
right? The camera's not focusing on it properly, but doesn't look too bad. Now that'll be covered with candy red as well. And you'll see how that looks now. Before I do that though, inside this back stripe right here, there's a chrome line here and a chrome line here. And in between, I'm going to take just straight gloss black, LP1, and I'm going to fill that stripe in all the way along on both sides. I'm not going to worry about the silver on the, or the chrome trim itself or the door handle. I just want to fill that in. Then I'm going to hit it with a light coat of clear just to seal it. Then I'm going to mask, unmask it all. Then I'm going to hit with the red candy just to bring the candy up. And I'm also going to spray the other parts with the red candy. They're all in, only in silver right now. And then once I've got the red candy on here, I'll peel all the masking off. And I'm going to flood coat this with probably about two or three coats of clear. And then we're going to let it dry. And once that's done, I'll be back and I'll show you. Okay, guys. Well, I've got pretty much the entire body done and painted. Now, this was a lot of work. You can see the marble on the side of the vehicle there. Now, there's still little details I got to do, like the uh the emblems and stuff but i get the chrome on the doors i still gotta paint the door handles and door locks chrome along here got this emblem here to do and a little piece on top of the fenders i got the firewall in pretty much completely painted i gotta do a little touch up on the uh, master cylinder there radiator support is in you can see that through there that chrome turned out pretty good along the windows now back here yes it's missing but there's a piece that goes on there and i'm still trying to figure out exactly what i want to do with that there's the uh convertible top cover so you won't see this missing piece anyway so why waste product and again door handle and lock here but you can just see i got to do some wet sand and polish but i'll do that after when everything's completely done i've got the hood here again still i got a wet sand and polish but i got a little bit of chrome trim here to do i'll get that painted in but just look at that sparkle in there Now I've got the back end painted up. And I've got the tail lights in. That sparkle makes it hard to film a bit. You can see the tail lights in there. Now the bumpers won't get put on until after everything's back together. Here's just a quick look of what it looks like with the uh, interior in. A 
Now the motor is almost completely done. I'll show you that real quick here. This will be the finalized in the next video. And here's the motor. Now I still got to cut it. This ain't completely done yet. I still got uh, some painting to do on the valve covers, but they match the car minus the heavy flake. The engine is wired up. I got some final detailing to do on it and a couple washes. And finish up on the carburetors. Starter and everything is all in. I got decals for the filter to put on. And of course, that'll just sit in the chassis. All right. And that's all done. like so so there you have it that's what uh, the body looks like this was a lot of work to do this and there's still a little bit of work left but not a whole lot and I'm not going to bore you with wet sanding and polishing you've seen that in many many videos so there you go and that's where I'm going to leave it so if you like what I'm doing here why don't you uh, go down there and give me a, a nice thumbs up that tells YouTube that Hey, this is a good video to watch. Why don't you share it with other people? And if you got some friends or family that are into models or even just regular classic cars or wild paint jobs, maybe share the video for me. Get it out there and let other people enjoy it. Make sure to leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know if you have any ideas of other things. And I've got a couple big things coming. So you better hit that subscribe button and hit that bell. Because you don't want to miss some of the stuff that's coming up. You should see this new model that I got. It's going to be an epic build. And I will be getting back to my Daytona race car. And my Nova. And my Grand Prix. Don't worry. I'm still working on them. This one turned out to be a hell of a lot more work than I was actually going to do. This was going to be a simple build. And now I'm doing this crazy paint job. Making my own brake calipers and custom wheels and things like that, wiring up engines, it, none of that was supposed to happen. So even when you try to build something simple, it's usually still a complicated thing. So make sure you check out my Instagram and my Facebook group. I like to post things there. You'll usually get a nice little sneak peek of what's going on and you'll definitely get some teasers there. And if you feel that you want to help out the channel in some way, you can always check out my Patreon. But for now, I'll leave you with this. And until next time, later.